Hello friends, I quickly want to talk about this new feature of promises called promise dot with resolvers, because it's supposed to make your code even cleaner. So imagine use this use case where we're trying to fetch some data from the API and looks usual dot then and so on. And of course, we're returning this newly created promise. And inside it, we are faking an API call. The thing is, developers don't really like this nesting. People say that this is unnecessary. Like, why would I return a newly created promise? And this is like putting the code inside it. This looks ugly. All right. So sometimes people use the following solution. So people would create new variables like resolve and reject like this so that they can later assign the resolve and reject to these variables. So let's see how you can do that. We're going to take this actual API call out of the promise creation. So we're going to put it here. And inside the promise, what we're going to do is we're actually going to change these parameter names like this with underscore just so that they don't clash. And we're going to say resolve is equal to resolve, oh, not reject resolve with underscore and reject is equals to reject with underscore. All right. And instead of returning this promise, because otherwise this code would be unreachable, we're actually going to create a variable called promise, not promo profile, but promise like this. And obviously, we're going to return this variable at the end, so that we can work with that. So let me do that return promise. And let me save the file. And let's run the code. So what we see is that it works perfectly. Now with this new feature of promises, you don't need any of that. And how cool is that? So what we're going to do is actually remove these variables because we no longer need them. And we're also going to remove this promise creation. All right, we don't need this either. What we're going to do instead is use promise dot with resolvers like this. And actually, IntelliJ is not helping me because this is a very new feature. So even IntelliSense does not know about it. So instead of creating the promise variable like this, we're actually going to destructure it. So it's going to spit out a promise itself, uh, reject or rather resolve first and reject as well. So three variables that later we can, of course, use like this. And now if I save the file and run it again, as you can see, it works exactly the same way. So this looks much cleaner, in my opinion. Now I have an Easter egg here just to explain like how what what are the further use cases of this new feature. So this new feature, in my opinion, can come come in very handy when you're trying to create functions or classes that are kind of event based. So, all right. So let's say you're returning an add method, you're returning an abort method and the events. What you can do is literally do use promise with resolvers like this. And then if you're adding something, you can resolve it. Or if you don't, if you don't want to just push, you can abort it like this. And at the end of the day, you're gonna subscribe to these to, with using dot then like this. So it kind of looks neat. All right. And the cool thing is that it's already usable in mo all the browsers, all the modern browsers. So you can see it from the MDN that it's green everywhere. So from Chrome, 119 and so on. And maybe one more cool use case. This is like a more real world use case is that when you're trying to read some data from the file, we what we would normally have is exactly like this that we saw in my IDE. So returning a promise and doing all these operations inside. And then the next way to do that is again with these redundant variables also looks kind of ugly, I gotta say. And now with with resolvers looks much cleaner because this is literally one liner and then you can use them again. All right, how cool is that? So you can use this with node version 21 with this special flag, but I'm already using node version 22 and it's already baked into it. So you don't need to do anything. Just make sure that you have node version set up to node version 22. And that's it. If you guys like this quick video, hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss this kind of videos in the future. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye.